Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I'm coming to you from Cocoa Beach and I want to talk about waves. Not just any wave, but progressive waves. If we were to define progressive waves, it's a transmission of energy through matter. So in order to have a progressive wave occur, we need two things, energy and matter. That's all there is to it. Now, most of the waves that we see out here on the ocean are progressive waves. And these waves come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. But there is actually three main types of progressive waves. We have these waves out here, if we look past the surf, we call these orbital waves. And there's transverse waves, which is what sound waves are, and then longitudinal waves. So three main types of waves. Now out here we have orbital waves. And for the most part, we're watching the energy traveling through the water as it moves closer to shore. When we get shallow water, things change all up. But out there, we see these nice orbital waves. For the most part, the material was moving in an orbital uh, movement, and the energy is moving through and, and past it. Now, what affects the size of the waves out here? Basically, there's three main factors. How long the wind blows, that kind of tells us how long energy is being put into the waves, into the water. The area over which the wind is blowing, and that's pretty much considered the fetch. And then the third one is the strength of the wind. So those are the three main factors. The area, the duration and the speed. All these affect the size of our ocean waves. So a little bit about waves. Thanks for watching. Ooh, that's cold.